Yo, what's going on, sexy Sam Atlanta squad? So I just made that video and uploaded that video of the most broken god in duel. And obviously that's Hades. And obviously he's probably the most broken god in duel in my eyes. And I have the most duel matches played out of any person in the entire world. So if if it, if that means anything to you, I think Hades is the most broken god in duel. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna look at what I believe to be the most underrated god in duel. Um, Agni is not by any means bad, and I think when people look at him or when people see <clears throat> an Agni, you immediately think, "Eh, probably shouldn't play him in duel," you know. And I don't know why that is. And, you know, I, I understand that there are reasons because, you know, his alt maybe is a little bit too unconfirmable as well as his two. It's a little slow. So you, you kind of need some setup for it. The thing is with correct gameplay, you don't actually need that setup. You can confirm all of this damage anyways. And um, it makes him severely underrated. I think probably the most underrated like i think zeus is underrated as well and um obviously zong's not underrated everyone knows zong is good but people don't play him i guess because everyone thinks he's too good and they don't want to break the code you know what i mean but um no when, when people don't play agni because they think he's bad but i really think they're just you're you're just underrating him he's a very good god and um in my opinion, probably one of the most underrated. Now, I'm not saying because he's so underrated that he's one of the best gods in the game, right? Like, I'm not saying that. That would be outlandish. But I am saying that, you know, I, I put him in A-plus tier. You know, I put him I put him close to S tier because of how good he is. You can't just immediately write him off. He's, he's a, a slept-on maniac. And um, I think anyone who, who disagrees either hasn't played Agni enough to understand how to play him or um just likes arguing <laughs> um and I'm not saying also I'm not saying this is the only underrated god in duel there's plenty of them but I think out of the underrateds he's probably he's probably the most looked down upon when in reality I think he's probably up there with like um Maybe, you know, maybe not AMC and on her, but he'll be up there with like, uh, oh God, I thought I was next to him. Holy crap, that scared me. With like some of the lower tier hunters. And a low tier hunter, by the way, is still S tier. Just so we're all clear. Because that, I mean, they're hunters, right? It's just how they are. But, um, yeah, I mean, in this game, my, my goal, it might not, you know, it might not actually work, but my goal is to show off why I think he's underrated. And I mean, I think I've done a pretty good job that so far. He has amazing early game clear. Um, and he has a stun that is on a relatively low cooldown. Because if you look at how long this lasts, and we will look at it, and I have no cooldown, by the way. No cooldown at all. It only takes two seconds for the stun to come back up again if you miss it and you and you just stand on it. You know what I mean? And that's what a lot of people don't do is if they miss their stun, will be like, oh, well, it's now it's on a 10 second cooldown and I can't use it. But if you miss your stun, just stand on that bitch. Well, what are they going to do? You know, like if they want to hit you, they got to come close. And if they got to come close, you can stun them. I'm just stopping him from clearing a little bit, losing him a little bit of gold. Uh, he will have his alt up and he will have some items. So a little bit of carefulness here is uh, probably best. I'll just auto this one more time. That means I'll finish him off and I'll come over here so I don't get ulted. And I'll go grab my Bancrofts. Sure Alright. Ooh, the crit. Okay, we're going Spectral next item, boys. Spectral next item. I would love to go Breastplate and I will be going Breastplate at some point this game, guaranteed. Um, but if he's going to go crit, then, you know, I'm going to want... Uh, did that crit me? <laughs> I'm going to want some sort of anti-crit. All right. So that's another thing you can do, by the way. Um, if you're ever playing Agni, let me just show you. You can use your two and stun afterwards, right? Or you could use your alt and stun afterwards. Nothing. You don't have to place your stun down and then use an ability. You can do the opposite and it works every time. 
As long as you're fast enough. He's gonna wanna ult me. Probably. Not ulting, which is weird. I'll keep him under his tower right now. Make him lose some gold, lose some tower damage. Gimme, gimme. All right, there we go. Oh, I didn't have my passive on. That would have killed. It's okay, though. But like I said, like, he threw me, he blinked in, threw me under tower. He tried to ult me and stuff. And your dash is so fast as Agni. Again, another underrated aspect of him. Everyone says, oh my God, Agni's dash is so slow. You move like a snail. But it's really fucking fast, actually. Um... I think he's just really good in almost every aspect. Passive is amazing. And you can't say that about a lot of gods. Like, a lot of passives on gods are terrible. But Agni's passive is so good. Um, that extra burn damage on, like, after you land four autos and you, you use your next ability. And it applies burn. That's such an important thing for him. And, um... So he's got that going for him. He's got damage and he's got self peel, which is huge. And then you just build the sustain. You know what I mean? Sure. He doesn't have sustain in his quit, but in his kit, like Guan Yu or like, um, like Kali with her passive or you know, something like that. But it doesn't mean you can't build it. And you most certainly can like Bancroft's Vampiric Shroud. And with, with these items, like I, you can see, I have 2,200 gold and I want to fight. And I haven't back yet. You know what I mean? So very easy to kind of accidentally overstay your welcome if you want to see it as a negative. But uh his sustain is so good. Obviously he has the speed buff on. I'll get this done like this so I can land the ult. Don't mind if you do that. Because I dash through you and ult again and you die. Oh, but you're too fast with that speed buff. Okay. It's all right. We back. They don't want to be altered. Nice. And I will go into... He still hasn't finished his spectral armor. Or, I'm sorry. I haven't finished my spectral armor. But he hasn't finished his... Um, his well, I guess he just did. So, you know, color me wrong. I thought I saw tier 2 there. But maybe I hadn't seen him on the map yet. That's why. Okay, so he did finish his crit. So my next item will be spectral. And the... The lack of damage will be mitigated by having red buff control because I clear the wave so much faster than him. And I mean, realistically, as Agni, you clear the wave faster than most gods. I missed. I missed again. I missed again. And I missed again. Okay. <laughs> Fun. You can ult me? He should be ulting. That'd be his best play. I don't think he'd kill me. Because I still have my, my one and I have my Aegis too if I need it. And I have lifesteal, so... I don't think he'd kill me with an ult, but it would help. <clears throat> just gonna be chilling, man. Just chilling. Maybe a blink 300 tower here. All right. Fuck my passive. Get a couple autos off on this Towie. Uh, there's not much I can do other than that. I'll be annoying. Stop his back. Why not? I got minions here, so. Be good. I. Oh, okay. Man. Oh, he ulted away. <laughs> Okay, okay. All right. So he blinked in just all the way, which is a little bit weird, but whatever. I'm still going to stay. Um, I'll see if he goes a second crit item. If he's going into another crit item right now, then I 100% buy Spectral next. Um, If he doesn't go into a second crit item here, then I actually don't know what I'll do. Mm -hmm. 
probably gonna want to get to that red buff. I do not want him having extra tower damage. Not extra towie damage. Boom, that'll clear the wave because passive. And now get, get this red. Perfect. Uh I don't see him on the map, so I'm slightly scared. Okay, now I see him. We're good. Just want to make sure that I don't lose this on accident or anything. That'd be gross. He still has not purchased another item. Also, the second relic is going to be super, um, almost irrelevant. Like, I think Agni is good enough to where you don't really need two relics. Um, but against a Mercury, you know, maybe I want, like, a Beads so he can't combo me and blink me under Phoenix like he's been trying to do. Or, um, you know, something crazy like, I don't know. So he got defense, which means I'm not building more defense because... Your crits, even though you have crit chance, are not going to hit that hard. It means I don't care about them. Um, and I'm just going to farm. And I guess what I'll do now... I could go poly. I'm keeping him under his phoenix, and I have been keeping him under his phoenix for a few, few minutes now. So maybe poly's actually not a bad call here. Because I can just kind of abuse. He finished his shoguns. Run into the tower. Running the tower line to clear the wave. I'm just going to be slowly making my way there. I'm in no rush. I do need to back soon because buffs are getting hard to kill and I have 3,000 gold. So that's not a good sign normally. It's a sign that you've been overstaying. But it is something that I like to do when I play Agni. So. <laughs> We'll just burn this one down, no problem, and then we can clear this wave and not have to worry about any kind of, uh, any kind of tower taking actions. Alright, um, buff or uh, uh, ability wise here, what do I want to build? Um, I kind of want to build rod and then we'll go into like a spear, or I'll go into poly now. Go Rod Poly, and I'll go Blink too. Uh, like I said, I mean, I think second relic here is kind of irrelevant to be honest. And um, honestly, like Blink is just fun. So, all right. Hello. Would you like to fight, Mister Crit Man? Would you like to punch me in the forehead? I have Life Steal. I have Relics. You do not scare me. Now my one alt did more than all of your ones combined because of my lifesteal. Might blink on me here if he does. Oh no, he's backing. Okay. So right now I am uh, upset. Alt. Stand behind Phoenix. And alt behind Phoenix. That was really bad. I should have ulted before I used my... What are you gonna do, bud? Huh? What's your game plan here? Yeah, there's no game plan. There's no game plan. You don't scare me. Um. But yeah, I mean, I wish I got Polly because obviously I could have taken the Phoenix on his first back right there, but. No worries, no worries. Can't get that. Oh, red buffs are up, and I really don't want to give those away. Oh, this is up too, and I really don't want him to have it. I'm greedy. Help. <laughs> All right, he's not. He's not very scary, so I don't care. In fact, in fact, I think. I think you're so not scary that I'm willing to fight you again without backing. All right, let me see here. He alt. I don't think he ulted, right? He has ult up for red if he wants to use it. I don't think he will. And I'm also 
gonna keep the greed levels alive and go for that red buff too and then i think we'll go spectral because he's getting his second crit item online and that's kind of annoying so you know with just rage only a 30 percent chance i can be okay with fighting that you know he could he could kill me maybe once or twice because of good rng or die because of bad rng but with two crit items it's more than likely gonna beat your ass for a little while at least you know what i mean so i'll grab spectral here i will grab the spectral decrease critical strike damage by 60 percent huge and now if he wants to counter my spectral he could just sell his crit but honestly that's him losing a lot of gold and i'm not losing it much at all like i lose maybe 600 and in order to sell these he loses like at least 15 maybe even more probably even more honestly do it hold me that damage i did to him was just my two by the way and i have double defense i have double defense i do not have a finished starter item and that damage i did to him was a single ability focus titan here if he wants to fight we can but i'm pretty sure he doesn't want to fight now i have breastplate my alts are going to be starting to charge back up pretty quickly every 15 seconds so if you want to fight i'm down again that crit me for 195 damage go for it Got fire minions this time before it was not fire minions it was normie normie boys okay you want to fight i'm down you don't want to fight hey i'll kill your titan then I don't know. I mean, if you just run away from me, I don't know what you expect me to do. <laughs> if you commit to a fight by ulting past me and pulling me towards Titan, I, like, why would you run away after that? There's no point. You just lose. I hope I, I hope you guys enjoyed um, this video. I, I hope I made my point clear about why I think that he's so underrated and why I don't actually think that... Uh, that he's bad at all and i think that chain he's wearing that a right there you add a plus to it and that's what that's what his tier is in a, in a tier list so i think he's very good and um underlooked and underrated as a god for duel i love you guys as always if you enjoyed the video make sure to like comment and subscribe until next time guys